addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you guys today that is very Pittsburgh Pride related. So if you are going to a Steelers game, a Pens game, or if you're going to a Pirates game, you can wear this makeup look. And even if you don't have any um, sports related in your area that has the gold or gold and black or black and yellow colors, you can still do this look and just wear it anyway for fun. Um, so this look was very fun because I ended up using the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick on my eyes. Um, so it was a little bit of an experiment, so it was kind of fun just to try that out, but I wanted to do a black and yellow look and then also add some gold touches to it as well. Michael, can you not rub your head against the tripod? Or your tail. Tail matters too. Anyway, so the reason why I did this look especially today is because I'm about to go out to watch a Pens game. So I'm really excited and getting pumped up. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is pull our hair back, and I'm just using a hair clip. You can also just use a headband, whatever you need. And then I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray, and I'm going to spray that all over my face. I didn't like this one at first because the nozzle broke, but then I got it to work again, and now I really like it a lot. Then, of course, we're going to go with the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Any concealer will do. And we're just going to place this on our brow bone and our eyelid to cover up veins and to also use as an eyeshadow base. Then we're going to blend it in using this Essel Miss Glam Beauty Brush from the White Brush Book. It is the W13 Tapered Foundation Brush. And we're just blending that in. Then we're also going to blend in with our fingers. All right, now we're going to go in with the My Makeup Brush Set My Cool 88 Eyeshadow Palette. And we're going to go in with this eyeshadow right here, which is just kind of like a nudie, slightly orange shade. And we're placing that in the crease using the SL Miss Glam Beauty Brush. It is the Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty Brush. And we're just going to brush that back and forth in the crease. And this is just in the deep crease and the blown out crease. Next, we're going to go in with ColourPop Roulette, and we're going to place this on the outer corner. And to place it, we're going to be using the Sigma E25 Blending Brush. This brush is such a lifesaver. I don't know what I would do without it. It's the only brush that I use on the outer corner. So if you guys have any suggestions on any other brushes that you love using in the outer corner, please let us know down in the comments. Um, but this is the only one that I have, and I definitely need to get some backup. So I'm just tapping the shade into the outer corners. I think Roulette has dried out a little bit, so that's why I'm kind of struggling to get it pretty dark. So I have to press a little bit more into the eyeshadow. But I'm just going to keep on blending. Now we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Queen B. So I'm kind of just like adding some color, kind of using the sponge, like the thinner tip of the sponge to kind of get in those hard to reach areas. And then I'm also tapping with my finger. Now as I'm doing this, I'm also using different fingers for whenever I blend. So I use like my middle finger to blend the center part of the lid. I use my uh, ring finger to do the part that kind of goes over the black eyeshadow. And then I use my pinky to get on that inner corner. So I'm just adding on some of the color, dabbing, adding on some of the color, dabbing. Now I'm going over to the other eye and I kind of want to explain why I decided to do this to make my life a little bit more difficult, but I wanted to do something fun, something unique. You know, Jeffree Star said that you could use this, I think as a liner, I'm trying it as an eyeshadow, um, but also to really make that yellow pop, if you use another yellow eyeshadow, typically it doesn't really come out this harsh. It kind of just kind of fades into your eyelid. So I really wanted the yellow to pop since I'm doing a sports look that really emphasizes black and yellow. So I really wanted my lid to look yellow, not like a dulled down yellow. <laughs> so this is like one of my favorite ways of trying to get an eyeshadow to really pop is to use a liquid lipstick to use a really um, stark eyeshadow. Some of ColourPop eyeshadows are really stark. Um, you know, you just got to find the right stuff or even like gel liners if you want to try to use that as eyeshadows um, to really make your eyeshadows pop. Um, but yeah, that's why I did this. It does make it a little bit more difficult. It does not did not end up looking as clean as I wanted it to, but the yellow did pop like I wanted to. So um, just keep that in mind whenever you are doing this to not be too, too hard on yourself. Now we're going to go back in with that My Cool 88 eyeshadow palette from My Makeup Brush Set. And we're going to go in with that nudish, slightly orange shade and place that right back in our crease. So we're just doing this to touch up since we put on some other eyeshadows. I do this all the time. Going back and forth really does help. 
Speaking of going back and forth, we're going to go back in with ColourPop's Roulette and we're just going to dab on some more black eyeshadow onto that outer corner just to make sure that that color is also very stark um, in comparison to the yellow because the colors that I am trying to emphasize are black and yellow. Continuing on with the My Cool 88 eyeshadow palette, palette from my makeup brush set. We're going to go in with this yellow shade right here and just tab it on top of our lid. This is to set the liquid eyeliner but also just to kind of fill in any areas that were a little bit smudgy, not you know not perfect and make it look a little bit more like an eyeshadow. So we're just placing an eyeshadow right on top of it. Once again we're going back in with ColourPop Roulette and we are touching up that outer corner. Like I said before I do a lot of back and forth and I really want that um, outer corner to be very black and blend in nicely with the yellow so I'm just tapping it in, on the outer corner also moving in a little bit towards the lid whenever there's a little bit less eyeshadow on the brush as I'm adding stuff on that outer corner um, just to blend in better with the yellow eyeshadow and liquid lipstick but just be careful not to press too hard too close or too much on that liquid lipstick because you don't want it to start flaking or get all weird. So you want to do a little bit more tapping rather than swiping. And then I'm just filling this little part in here with one of these Sigma brushes. It's a liner brush. Hold on, let me figure out what it's called. It is a Sigma Eyeliner E11 brush. And I just use that to fill in the area that for some reason the Sigma E25 brush was not blending in. Um, so I just kind of tapped it on with that liner and then I'm just going back in again with the Sigma E25 blending brush and blending out that outer corner. Next we're going to go in with the e.l.f. gel liner and this is a black gel liner. I wanted to use this because I'm always using the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner which is the mega liner so I wanted to switch it up for you guys. So I'm going back in again with that eyeliner brush from Sigma, the E11 brush and I'm adding on the gel liner. Now the reason why 99.9% .9 of the time I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner, the Mega Liner, is because I have such a problem with liquid eye or eyeliner transferring onto the top of my lid. It's so annoying. And unfortunately, guys, the first, this didn't, I mean, it lasted a pretty decent amount of time, but by the end of the day, there definitely was some transfer. And what we're going to be doing after is actually adding on eyeshadow to add on top of it to help prevent that transfer. But, uh. For me, it's unavoidable, but um, that's why I avoid gel liners. But honestly, I really love working with gel liners. Bummer. And like I said, we're going to go in with this ColourPop eyeshadow in Roulette. And I am just updating the outer corner um, with the Sigma E25 blending brush. And then we're going to grab another brush from Sigma. We are using the Sigma Tight Line Liner E16 brush just to add some eyeshadow on top of the eyeliner that we placed from e.l.f. just to hopefully prevent it from transferring and also to make it a little bit more stark. I keep using that word. And now we're going in with the Wet n Wild Coverall Face Primer and we're just spreading that all over our face with the exception of what we did on our eyes, of course. Don't want to mess up that hard work. That was a lot of hard work, people. A lot of it. Now we're going to go in with foundation and the foundation that we are going to be using is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. This is one of two foundations I am trying to use up. Not that I don't like it, but man, I have so many foundations and I can't even get this one to come out. I end up having to use two fingered hands. Now we're planning it on our face using one of the SL Miss Glam Beauty white brushes from the white brush book and the blush that blush. The brush that we're using is the flat top foundation brush which is the W12. So we're just using that to blend in the foundation onto our face but then of course we're also going to go in with our fingers trying to get around those hard to reach areas such as your lips, around your nose, your forehead, your eyebrows, right underneath the eye. Make sure you get those areas. Now we're going to go back in with the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. I'm going to place this right underneath of our eyes. And I always put a little bit on my cheeks just because I naturally have some redness there. And I mentioned this like a bajillion times. So hopefully you guys get to get it by now. Um, and then we're going to go back in with that foundation brush that we used earlier from SLMS Glam Beauty. And we're just going to blend out that concealer right underneath our eye and then on our cheek. Next, we're going to go in with the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, and we are going to place this using the Essel Miss Glam Beauty Macaroon M05 Tapered Highlight Brush. I love this brush to set my under eye concealer, but I also like it as a blush brush because it's really nice and fluffy. 
fluffy fluffy and then we're going to go in with this elf powder i'll have it listed down below in the description box and i'm placing it right underneath my eyes using the sigma f35 tapered highlight brush now we are going to do our brows and we're going to be using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Blondie and I'm just filling them in. If you guys want to see a video on how to fill in your brows, I will link it down below. I use um, one of the ColourPop Brow Pencils whenever I show you how to do it. Now we're going to go with the Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in That Glow and we're going to be using the Sunburst Shade. We're going to be placing that on our cheekbones. Now we're going to go back in with the My Cool 88 My Makeup Brush Set Eyeshadow Palette and use that first shade that we used at the beginning of the video that we put in our crease. We're actually going to put that on our lower lash line. And we're going to be using the crease, crease, crease brush from Sigma. We're going to be putting that on our lower lash line. Now this is a crease brush, but I was low on brushes, so it works. It blends well, so just put it right underneath of your eyelid. Now we're going to go back in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. We're going to be going in with Sunburst once again. We're replacing that on the inner corner using the lip brush from SL Miss Glam Beauty. This is from the Pink Brush Kit. It is the P29 brush. And we're going to be putting it on the inner corner of our eye, but we're also going to be putting it on our brow bone, just touching up with our fingers. But I really wanted that highlight to stand out today. Also, do not mind my dancing and lip singing. I was listening to music as I was getting ready for this video today, so deal with it. Now we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara, and we're going to put that on our upper and our lower lashes. This is my favorite um, eyelash, or eyelash, Ugh, I can't speak. This is my favorite my, uh, mascara that I love to use on both my upper and lower lashes, and it's a great first mascara to use. So if you want to use a more volumizing, thickening mascara after that on your upper lashes, that is a good way to go. It's also a good um, mascara to use before you put on false eyelashes. Now we're going to go in with the Elf Volume Plumping Mascara, and this is the mascara that we are going to use on our upper lashes just to add a little bit more volume. Fortunately, this is not as thickening as I wish it would could be, um, but I'm going to try to find a mascara that works. I did not feel like putting on false eyelashes. For some reason, I only want to put on false eyelashes if I'm doing a makeup tutorial, but if I actually have plans to go somewhere... I hate wearing false eyelashes because if they come undone, I get so pissed and I don't even realize it right away. And it's just like awkward. But yeah, so I try to avoid false eyelashes when I can. So um, I just decided to go in with two layers of mascara on my upper lashes. Now we're going to go back in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. We're going to spray that all over our face just to set all of the makeup that we put on. I kind of got it in my eye and my nose and maybe a little bit in my mouth. So don't mind me. And of course, I'm going to put on my backwards baseball cap. All right, so we're going to go in with a black lipstick, and I am using ColourPop Black Friday. If you can't get your hands on this now, try to get your hands on it whenever it comes out again. It comes out every Black Friday. And then you can also try to see if you can find a liquid lipstick, a black liquid lipstick from somewhere else, and just add that onto your lips. After I put everything on, I kind of touched up using a makeup wipe, and then just added on a little bit more liquid lipstick to the parts that needed it. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Ding that little bell or click that little bell so you're notified of when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! A golden bronze makeup tutorial. I'm just too excited for summer. I just cannot wait to get to it. And I wanted to use some other products that I have not been using as much or I haven't used in a while or haven't shown you even at all just because I know I've been kind of a little bit repetitive. So I'm using a Glamour Dolls eyeshadow and where is it? It's on the floor. So I'm using this Glamour Dolls eyeshadow in Sorcery. It's a single eyeshadow. So that's